Hello, in this video we are going to look at labels in Bootstrap 4. Labels are just little small tags that you can add some information to literally any sort of content whatsoever. So for example, if you're on a website and you might see like some little sort of like box next to it that's colored in a certain color, maybe it's blue or red or whatever, and it might say the word new in there. So it's just giving some information that that particular content is new. That's what we're going to be doing today. Not necessarily just saying something is new, but just showing you labels and how you can use them. So let's go to our text data. Labels are really simple. So I wanna do a span tag. And the span tag needs to have a class of label. And next you just put label dash whatever type of styling you want for your label. They're very similar to let's say button styling and all the other styling, but we'll show you all the different styles that you can do. So inside you simply put the text that you want. I'm just gonna put default. So it's basically what this label is. And what I'm going to do is just copy and paste this so there are six instances because there are six different variations. So the next one is primary, success, info, warning, and danger. So let's just save this. Actually, let's just update the text we don't need to it's just still look a little nicer I'd say so that go to our web browser refresh so there you go we have our label so we as a bit of a curve to the edges I mean the corners and he also adds a background so they look really really cool so like I was saying you could have something like this next to something that's new have something like this when something's gone wrong and maybe this could be some information and a tooltip and obviously this is just some generic bland color but that's not where the labels end because there is a pearl label variation and that just has more rounded corners that's all it is I'm going to show you them as well so let's just put some break rules to do them they're, they're essentially the same but they just have an extra class I'm going to copy all of them and to do it just add an extra class to any one that you want as the pill variation label dash pill so I can simply just copy and paste this for a love about sublime yeah ah, doesn't seem to be working at the moment for whatever reason I was trying to do the square selection ah, either way let's just continue so if we refresh there we go our labels are even more curved now and hence you can most likely see why they have the name pill because they look like pills that you would take just one last note they actually scale to the size of their parent container the their immediate parent container but it sizes to the font size so for example just going to copy paste this here doesn't matter which one you actually use i've just selected the first one Put a break line break line and in here I'm just actually around it, I'm going to put a div and what I'm going to do is just do some styling usually you don't want styling like this inline I mean you will want it in a separate file but this is just to make it easier for the purpose of this video number font dash size 3 em this is going to be pretty big save that go to our web browser refresh actually might be best if we actually put something here as well so hello world refresh as you can see the pill is now the same size as the containers I mean the containers font size so if I were to reduce that to something like 0 0.2 em 
I think three is a lot smaller, obviously that's not readable, but you could also just do a one EM as well. And as you can see, it scales accordingly, so you don't need to start applying any CSS and whatnot and positioning for the label. Whatever the font size of the parent container is, it will match that. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php. There'll be a link in the description to that, plus there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.